Yeah, definitely can be. Gonna be fun to see if that coordination works out here for Dick the Toss. And okay. we are gonna get the Riven through. This is why they wanted Viper back in. You mentioned it, Azale CLG you know, does the boob of his up, and Fulter and got the smite. smite. So this should be a very easy grab, and doesn't want to burn it, he has to. But Set comes in, this is the big play. Gets a stun, a lot of damage, and a Pope who jumps over the wall, comes right back in, though, and First Blood goes through. That's a pickup there on the, I was gonna say, Cloud Nine side as the flare comes up, and Dig the Toss says, yeah, our early <laughs> game's good enough. Viper, by the way, has TP down, and that means Mountain Drake is absolutely going to dig side. Dig are gonna be able to grab that nice play as they didn't have mid lane prio, and Pope Alter got pretty aggressive. It looked like it should have been an easy blue steal, but do they uh, pulling into this type of composition, though, uh, because there is a fair bit of CC between the Nautilus and the Orn that you're gonna have to get through, but CLG is moving four members top. They're looking for the dive. Hard diving. Ulti's gonna come down, turning off the turrets. Juice still gonna land, though, onto poor Bard, and Afmu is gone. Ruins up to the top side of the map. Turret's alive, though, and Phoenix is reinforced. His plate is low, flash engage, Ruin's not gonna land it. Doesn't wanna hold turret dagger just yet. Pull both nearly lands the paddle star, but Johnson has nowhere to run. No ulti, no summoners, has a healing bubble, but he's got no health far, and Ruin gonna claim a kill as this turret's gonna lose plate number four. CLG send five at the top side and a reward with two kills. Uh, a while back and, and had been kind of, I think, a, a bit on a downturn, you know, having more of a struggle. Um, but even on a two and eight team, Aphromu has stood out. Like he has, has been in a position where often Ghost does live though all the same, and we go back to this mid game now, where Dig have two drakes to none. The gold lead is still with CLG. Now an anchor toss in from Smoothie, gets big damage out of Darduck, puts the shield back up, gets ignited though, and gotta be careful, Drew Drop Barrage won't quite land, can't land any of the ulties. Darduck running for dear life, just barely stays alive. Aero tank to the one side, Viper is in for the kill, and a Smoothie wants in for more. Ruin gonna run away, Pobot is very, very low, but Ruin's gonna get away. Now Johnson's being chased down, Wiggly wants in. Careful, because here comes Dardock, and it's, oh my gosh, it is not enough. <laughs> Two more kills and in his And it's like, okay, well, if, if you're at a massive late game disadvantage, it's not gonna be made up for that. Another nice hard <laughs> ultimate. That is so Azale. annoying for CLG. Oh man, speaking of annoying, poor sets in a bad spot. Gets a big punch off on three, but has nowhere to go. Gets a stun, oh, shock a shockwave, and almost the air. You gotta be kidding me, Dardock. He almost lives through it, but it is two kills, and Viper wants number three. Takes damage, finds the stun, Afro move over the wall, grabs the kill, and Ruin doesn't have a lot of places to go. Does have flash, and he misses it. It was a bait. Viper went the wrong way, but there is no way out for this Ord. The Raven flank comes in, and Dignitas win a fight. Four to one. In the third dragon, you know, that is something that, uh, that is where I get worried about soul. Two feels like, ah, it's okay. You know, you can you can kind of challenge nope. later on. As Demolish comes through, the bot lane turret will crack. But when they when they met the first time around, back when this was the um, the, the Froggen lineup, this was a, uh, what, solid 5,000 gold lead at, at 30 minutes, and then CLG came back with, with better late game plays. This is CLG, 4,000 gold ahead at 15 minutes, and Dignitas now finding their way back into this one with some That's negative two kills for the other team. That's negative two kills. Meanwhile, There's negative one, one kill. kill on the Viper is he's <laughs> going to be waking up, but he is one versus five. He is slowed. He is flashing. He is not getting knocked up. He's going to get a lot of space here. He's drowsy. The flash going away. Anchor's going to land. He's trying to run for his life. He just might do it. The ulti is for Nautilus, but he's not in range of anyone else. <laughs> Viper gets away. 17 ults are burned, but he makes it away. He's a slippery snake. But now it's time for the play in the mid lane. This is not oh. good. Phoenix going to get rebirthed in 43 seconds. Goodbye to Dragon Soul. Your mid laner is gone. He had flashed, but the bubble caught him. Yeah, Phoenix got absolutely destroyed there. And I'm not sure that they could have actually fought for it. Uh, the only people that I think are really going to be excited about that, you know, potentially Phoenix with phase rushing and kite things out, but like Riven is the big. So will be a fight if they want to actually commit to this, but it's it's getting really low here. Okay, this is going to be a big moment there. Pope can't quite get in. Dardock wants forward. Ulti's up on three of Dignitas, and actually all five for CLG's side. Here comes the Orin Orin going for the play. Aphromu is low. Knockup only on a set. Knockup hits Viper. Not a big deal either. Smoothie now the target. Pulls one back in, and Dardock can only get one for one as Viper gets that kill. So 4v4 on the map. Phoenix comfortable, but low on mana. Can push it and not do much else. Out we go. Mid lane under fire. Johnson gets to get some health and CS back. The turret should fall. Dignitas gonna be on the board with turret kill number two. Dignitas closing the gold gap here. Quite a big difference. Uh, he does have his GA also, so that is actually huge. Viper is on an incredibly big power spike, and they are gonna try to bet it all on this team fight. Okay, big chunk comes in. Smite fight's gonna come through. Picked up there by Dardock, and the battle has begun. A lot of damage to the Viper, but he's got GA. That one's popped down in the front line. The knockdown ruin. 5v4 for Dignitas. Health bars are low, though. They gotta be careful. Through the magical journey, they go just barely the escape. Aphromu. Extra move speed on the Cloud Soul to kind of circumvent 
uh, the fact that he doesn't have flash, you know, if it will make a big Hot enough. Lane with teleport, hasn't burned it just yet, though, so it's a 4v5. Here comes the TP, here comes Tempered Fate, stopping two wiggles to get outside of the pit. Here comes the re-engage, Ruin is taking, goes the first! You gotta be kidding me, another spice still in for Dardock, Baron buff on Dignitas, Shockwave catches two, that's two kills picked up right now. Dignitas are gonna walk over this one. Wiggly attacks the ward, gets over the wall, but so does Viper, Blast Blank gets him right back out. And Riven's got to buy some cooldowns are back. Dardock wants back in, finds slows on a bow belter. Oh Looks for a bit fast. more. The exhaust is on the punch. One more will kill him, and Viper is unstoppable. Deathless in this game. As three kills come through, Dignitas get every single objective, and CLG have nowhere to go. Dardock's going to live through this one, and how does CLG get away? Dig have completed the comeback. Two are pushing down the mid lane, as the inhibitor turret is going to be cracked as well. Afro just needs to stop them. They're actually trying to end the game here, I think, potentially. If you can stop both Stixie and Wiggly from actually getting back to oh, base, so it's dead. only Smoothie there uh, defending right now. And Stixie is going to get Shockwave in, but is so tanky. They won't only be able one to... One death, good stuff on the bar. Now, once again, look at the play. Ward's down for CLG. Going to make him a bit afraid. Viper dodges some skill shots. Look for the re-engage. Afro goes for the setup. Cobalt's going to burn Zonia. Set into the back line. He's going to find a decent amount of damage, but Dardock has to be respectful. Gets knocked into the air. Gets a shield. A big punch and does go down. Smoothie going to be traded, though. One for one. Viper in the back line. Finds the stun. Tries to do the setup. Loses Guardian Angel. CLG's re-engage isn't going to be enough. Knockup is too early. Viper goes right back in, and Ruin is not long for the world. Two more kills coming through, and now it's again only two alive on CLG. Dig the toss. Win fight after fight after fight after fight, and it's time to go into the mid lane. 40 seconds of the respawns for the solo lanes, meaning it's a very long time of four versus two, then four versus three, as Dignitas wants into the Nexus right now. We'll see if they can close it here. Stixay and Wiggly, they've got to start fighting now, but they don't really have the health to do it. Viper poked low, but he's going for Stixay. Goes for the flash knockup, gets a little bit there. Stixay is not going to be able to fight this one off. Dignitas are going to complete the win. A 36-minute crush of the Nexus. Dignitas, three wins in a row.